Hey guys, this is Cindy, and I'm not even trying to hide my messy desk, but um, I just thought I've been doing a couple of things, so I thought I might just turn on the camera and just talk for a little bit about some things. One of them is this book that you probably see right here, Alice in Wonderland. It's both the stories, Alice in Wonderland and the Alice in the Looking Glass. I found this, I believe it was a Goodwill just the other day, and I didn't pay much for it, maybe two bucks. But look at the end pages. Aren't they gorgeous? The problem is, you know, I started not to buy it because I am just not an Alice fan. Never have been. And uh, I think the reason why is because one of the pictures in here is one. It was in a book that we looked at as kids. And it, we, oh, right there, that picture. Scared us to death in that book. And we would just slip through that page real quick when we were looking at the big book. But anyway. Um, so I started not to buy it, but I thought, oh, you know, it's just really too good of a book for a junk journal not to, uh, purchase. So I'm thinking about listing this on my Etsy shop just for a few bucks and seeing if someone wants it. Uh, you know, I can send it with the pages out and it wouldn't cost as much to ship it, but I think you really want all these pictures that are in here. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Should I list it or should I not? You know, and the postage, if we do it media mail, probably would be about three bucks, maybe just a little bit over. So I'm not sure. But anyway, that's just something I wanted to show you. And I guess at some point, if it didn't sell, I could do an Alice, uh, junk journal because I really do like the book, the actual physical book. Okay. I showed you guys in a video how I had this great idea to use these old photo pages um, to put my little ephemera stuff in and some of these pages I've got upside down and some are right side up. But anyway, um, and I still love this idea. I've, I used it quite a bit the last couple of days, but um, you know, I ran out of pages and I thought, well, you know, I go to a lot of Goodwills and yard sales and stuff, so I'll just look for some. Well, anyway, I found this particular album in a uh, Goodwill, and it was actually still in the shrink wrap. Had never been opened, and the date on it was 1997, so that's probably pretty close to the date when they quit making these things. But anyway, it had 100 pages, so 50 of these pages, and then front and back. So I thought, oh, I am in. Everything's good now. I can fill this up. And I had filled up about 15, oh, a dozen or so pages of the ones I had, like I said, I had rescued from an old notebook that the Genealogy Society had some photos in that didn't need to be in there. And I ran out of those pages, so that's why I was really looking for more. But then, yeah, last night, I found this stash of pages that came in that original notebook, and I just forgot I had put them somewhere else. So now I've got enough of these, maybe, to put all my little ephemera in. So anyway, I, my whole point in this is just to tell you, if you like this idea and you want to do it, I really think there's some albums out there. If I can find one brand new, never opened, then there's some more out there that maybe are used or, um, I don't know. I overlooked it the first time in the Goodwill and then saw it my next pass through right before I left. So anyway, just a little thought. And I wanted to show you this next journal I'm working on. It's going to be another garden theme one. And I saw the tile and I thought that's just perfect. And the cover with that big lily on it is great. And um, anyway, I've already got my signatures sewn in and some tabs put on. But I was um, playing around with some silk flowers. I don't even see my back. Yeah. I think I may have shown this before. But um, when I made the five ring binder, um, journal I had bigger silk leaves that I just glue a silk leaf onto some um, chip not chipboard um, cardstock and make a little journaling card out of it so I was just messing around with the petal from a flower that it was actually a an, an orchid there's a centerpiece I took out and uh, yeah there's the centerpiece right there so it makes a pretty flower like that so anyway I was thinking I'd put it there and here's the one I made originally and I thought, oh, I think I'll put that on that cover. But then I thought, this leaf really isn't the correct leaf. So I tried, you know, that one's too big. And then I, I just took one of these leaves with my scissors and cut it down and made a, a leaf that would go more with the lily. So, But I'm just not sure how that leaf goes well on that cover or not. So anyway, um, just messing with that idea. But I thought it was really cute, and you might like to tr give it a try. It's just some silk flowers. You can peel the plastic off of them, the back, you know, that it's kind of holding its shape. 
you can peel that off pretty easily. And I just use Fabri-Tac and, and make sure you get glue right on the edge. And since you're gonna cut around it, it doesn't matter if that glue seeps out a little bit, but it helps you know you're gonna get it stuck down pretty good. Then I just had to button on this one. So anyway, I'll either put it on the cover or put it in this journal somewhere. So that was an idea I was just been working on. And uh, here is some pink lace, which I'm sure is going to work its way in this journal somewhere. I got this off of a blouse. I was at the uh, Goodwill and just getting ready to walk out, and I saw this blouse. It had all this lace on it. I thought, yes, I really like that. So um, I don't think it's real vintage or anything, but it kind of looks like it. And I just took my seam ripper at night when I was sitting there watching TV and just um, got it all off the blouse and it's probably close to four yards of this so anyway that's kind of fun so definitely look at the clothing you know at goodwills and uh, garage sales and see if there's anything that you can use and then this one other thing i want to show you last saturday my husband and i just went uh, to a town about an hour and a half away because he needed to go to a computer store and we were driving through and he saw a sign for an estate sale. So he just whipped in, you know, he knows the drill. Anyway, it was really not a house. It was more like a business, like someone owned an old antique store. And when I say old and antique, I mean, it's definitely old. The antique part, a little questionable, but you know, they had a lot of stuff in there and they had reasonable prices. And I found this, I don't know if you can see it very well. It says each day's doings. And I said, is that a, a diary? And, you know, I got it for a whole dollar. And sure enough, I opened it up and said, oh, yep, that's a diary. So I said, that's coming with me. I don't know that I would ever do anything with it, you know, for, as far as junk journal. Um, but it's definitely fun to have. And I don't know what they would have done with all the stuff that didn't sell at that estate sale. But I sure didn't want to see it go into the dumpster. And see, look, she even colored that in a little bit. But it was fun because the very first page... Um, she said she had a date for with a guys and it's on January 1st. So I thought oh, this could be a pretty good <laughs> diary. But um, then I noticed, um, you know, that's 1929 and then 1930 and then 1932 and 1934. So each day is, each page is a different day. And then they've got room for five different years. So that's kind of neat because you can kind of see how, you know, life changed for her a little bit. Um through the years and i not really sure what her name is i know that joe gave it to her for christmas and um don't know her name yet and not sure if she's in high school or college or just working or or what but um anyway it's a fun find for a whole dollar and it's going to go in my collection of just well junk i guess but anyway thanks for watching and i will see you guys later